often six seems to be your spot this year, but you keep finding podiums from that position. Talk about qualifying today. Yeah, so uh, obviously we're looking to have a better result than that, but unfortunately on lap four, um, going into turn three, the car just got really unsettled, unsettled under braking. Uh, I thought I had a flat tire at first, and when I came into the pits, uh, you know, upon initial inspection, everything was fine. But uh, it ends up that a bolt in the right rear suspension broke, which was uh, so called a mechanical, caused a mechanical failure, and uh, we were unable to continue the session. So we'll start sixth tomorrow, and uh, like you said, we've been able to rack up plenty of podiums this season from mid pack, so hopefully we can do the same. Harry Gottsacker, your third pole position of the year. Great way to start the finale here at Sebring. Yeah, you know, uh, every, all the guys at uh, Brian Herta Autosport really uh, helped us dial in this Velocitor N. Uh, you know, I don't really, can't hard to describe, it's just it's one of the first times it was like the car setup was perfect. I felt like, you know, we nailed it. Uh, the car was absolutely a rocket ship. I'm just really happy we're starting up front tomorrow and uh, let's go get a trophy. Congratulations. Thank you. Mason, starting on the second row in the 98 car, you're entering the race tomorrow just four points out of the championship lead. It's going to be intense on one of the trickiest tracks we race on. Yeah, just our Brian Hurd Autosport car, Veloster and TCR is it's amazing and we had a good qualifying session starting second row. It's going to be a good battle starting actually right behind Ryan Norman. So he's in a 33 car which we're battling for that championship. Hopefully it's going to bring home that manufacturer championship after we take the green flag and then go for that driver championship right after. So talk about the track surface at Sebring. It's notoriously bumpy and a little bit rough. Have you found that today? Yeah, I mean, you know, you go through, but our Hyundai Veloster and TCR car is really good through that bumpy section in Sebring and you especially going through turn 17 it's really compliant and gives you a lot of confidence through there. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Ryan Norton starting on the front row again here at the season finale with the championship lead. Is it a clear shot? Um, it's not a clear shot but um, you know we're gonna get a give it everything we have. Um, obviously the 98 is right behind us so it's just going to be minimizing mistakes and uh, having a nice clean race, but also we're going to have to push. I mean, Gabby and I are going for the win tomorrow, so um, we have a great race car. We showed that earlier this year. We just had that issue, so we're looking for some redemption and hopefully we'll pull off the win. So you've had three sessions here today. How much different are the track conditions in cooler weather here in November? Um, well, this morning it was raining a little bit or the, it was a little damp, so track was very green. Um, this afternoon was pretty hot, so we've kind of hit all three ranges. It's a little cooler this uh, tonight for qualifying, but um, we have a good race car, so I'm excited about it. Thanks.